Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna go through 10 tips to improve your uh, backlight portraits. So this has been one of the most requested topic. So let's get started. The first one is to use the EVF or back screen. So this is very important to me because uh, uh, if I look at directly to the sunlight, uh, my eye will be like blind, uh, blinded. It's hard to focus and then it's hard to compose. But when I'm looking down to the back screen, it's easier for me uh, to uh, compose. That's why the, one of the advantage of the, my Fuji f 2 is I have the tilted screen and now I can tilt it and then look at the portrait. And um, I can use the EVF uh, electronic viewfinder from the X-T2 as you can see here. Uh, it's easier for me to compose uh, because the electronic viewfinder view uh, adjusted the light to, uh, to, the, to my eyes. So it's better. And the second one is to select a background that are uh, suitable to you. Be sure to, uh, the first one, be sure to find some trees in the nature in the back. The reason of uh, finding trees in the back is that uh, it can create a very nice bokeh in the back with the sunset light. And the bokeh, just like this picture, uh, with a lot of bokeh from the gap of the tree leaves, uh, they can create a nice interesting uh, background from the gap of the tree leaves and the next one is the city find some contrasting uh, contrast city walls in the background for example this one has a black outfit and with a nice white building uh, or a red building to contrast the black outfit in the back so uh, all this one from the mountain the hill uh, the city hill do have a nice contrast and the next one is the exposure compensation. It's the third one, exposure compensation. From my X-T2, there's an exposure compensation dial directly on top there. It's easier for me to uh, adjust the dial uh, on the fly based on the situation. If the image is too dark, I will uh, increase to plus one. If it's too uh, bright, I will do the minus uh, one or minus two. So. Many of you have asked me how I am not using the reflector because I'm using this exposure compensation dial. So, and you can see that on my left hand right there, I'm always holding a compensation dial in my left hand right there when I'm shooting. And this is uh, my shooting on the fly. I'm adjusting the fly, uh, the dial on the fly. And the next one is to lower the camera angle because the lower the camera angle create nice, uh, sun flare near the portrait uh, and it has a uh, nice flare around the body so so be sure to lower the angle the my number tip uh, four tips uh, it is lower the angle uh, to create a nice like flare near the body because of sun direction and the next one is to using the edge to focus so it's hard to focus if there's a, a white area so uh, if uh, you focus on the frame, for example, on this one, you focus on the frame of the sun glass or the glasses, it will be easier to focus for me. Uh, the next one is to change the white balance. Uh, the white balance uh, I use is the fluorescent one. It's a warmer tone for you. If you don't have the fluorescent one, you can use a cloud, uh, the cloud white balance. Uh, I, I, I like to use the warmer tone so that uh, later it's better for editing to have warmer tone with the sunset. The next one is uh, very important to me, create atmosphere. So you can find some ground that uh, is easier to create dust. So for example, this one in the farm has a lot of dust and when you bokeh it out, it has nice atmosphere in around uh, the portrait with Victoria. So, Make sure to find some like open ground with some dust in it. And my next example is uh, Lindsay uh, in the park winter. This is outside also. There's a lot of dust outside, so it's create nice like atmosphere when it is freeze out the bokeh uh, in the back. And this one, Nicole from the park also. So we also find some like nice atmosphere for the backlight portrait. So find some awesome open space. Um, the, then my next tip is to use side profile. So uh, the reason I use side profile is to have um, nice uh, highlight from the hair 
as you see in this one with Arial, uh, it has a nice highlight from the uh, side of the uh, the body, so it creates nice flow floating down the body. So this is my tip on using the side profile. It creates a nice highlight. The next one, if you seen a lot of my picture, is create movement. A lot of my portrait has movement in it. You can just ask the model to turn around and then create some movement and it freezes the sunlight as well as freezing the shadow in the uh, ground also so sometimes the movement will create a lot of unexpected uh, nice portrait you use the continuous low uh, mode for you to uh, to capture all this freezing movement and the shadow together with the lights in the back so using movement is very important then last one is the outfit choices uh, for outfit choices, I like to use uh, blue diamond jacket in this one. Uh, nice blue uh, because it's cold tone against the warm in the back, create some contrast. Or I like to use some brown tone outfit uh, to uh, align with the tone in the sunset tone. So that's all my tips, uh, top 10 tips uh, of backlight portraits. And Thanks everyone for supporting my Instagram also and please check out my Instagram and go uh, do a follow if you like and I will post a lot more pictures from uh, my Instagram account. Thank you so much. This is my top 10 tip uh, for the backlight portrait. See you next time. Bye.